Hello, this is David Dean, and we are finally getting to the end of the craziness of soloing Storm Shield defenses in Twine Peaks. And now we really have the biggest challenge in the entire game is on Storm Shield defense number 10, and to be specific, the third wave of the um, Storm Shield defense, which you will get on the third wave a propane smasher wave of 1,000 husk coming at what I call the devil um, amplifier. <clears throat> and while you can play this, place this amplifier much earlier, I believe around Storm Shield Defense number four, I have waited for several reasons to do it until 10. And I will be going through all the pitfalls of this one and um, doing the build for it. <clears throat> and one of the big things right off the bat, this is the only amplifier you have to defend on three different, that you could possibly defend on three different sides. It can get attacked from the west, from the north, and from the east. And regardless of when you place it, none of those spawn points will ever go away. You always have to defend it from three different sides. Um, and so that is one big issue. The other issue is for like the trap tunnel here on the east side. The lava balls kind of change um, when you go in and out of the mission. Um, this had all wood floors, so I had an area blow up here, which that is a main area of my trap tunnel defending it from the east. I have seen, um, I did it on my first video, where I just said, I don't have enough resources. I'm only going to defend it on one side, tore down the trap tunnels from the west and north just to build one massive trap tunnel to the east. And then I ran the storm shield defense. Um, wave one, wave two, wave three came around, got attacked from the north, quit the um, storm shield defense, went back in, redid my traps to the... Um, um, home base and amplifier that did get attacked, get those up and going, ran it a second time, ran it a third time, until I finally got them to tack from the side I wanted them to do it. Kind of gaming the system, and I noticed that still the pro predominant way people are doing this one. Um, I believe now with what I've learned going through the game a second time, and also with the traps now being more powerful, with the new reperk system that I can set up trap tunnels on three different sides and hopefully defend it from whichever way they come in. Um, also the problem with this is they are level 140 huss. So even if I top my guy out at level 120 commander level, they would still be 20 levels or higher than me. Right now I'm at 88, so they're going to be 52 levels higher than me. But we're going to try to make this work. Um, building this one's going to be a little bit strange because I'm going to have to build in some areas, get most of it done, and then basically run in and out. The lava balls seem to drop between 30 and 40 seconds. Um, so basically I can do building, then run away, triggering a lava ball in another area, then run up here to do more building. Um, <laughs> Kind of a screwy way to do it, but it just the way it kind of has to be done. Um, here to the east side, and actually I should show you the spawn points first um, on each side as I'm doing them. The um, spawn point starts up here, right about this area, and there will be a spawn, and then there will be a second area that spawns over here and um, it changes. Sometimes this is the heavy spawn and that is the light spawn and sometimes it's vice versa. So basically up here I want everything to go into just one tile for coming down off of this cliff. Um, all the way through um, to, to, to my other account up here this had no issue, no problem with the lava bombs except for one time. One time, don't know why, it's just kind of random, um, all this got blown up by the lava bomb. And every other time I did it, which was quite a few times, 
Um, had no issues, no problems. So, and the other thing you're going to see me using like crazy in here is my gas traps. We are just going to go crazy with gas traps. As you see, I got 60 made, and that probably won't be enough. And I did have the chance. I could have made my gas traps level 130, just like my wall launchers. But I didn't want this to be about overpowering the husk. I really still want these videos to be about trap building and doing what we can with that. So I do have two traps leveled up to 130. Retractable floor spikes. Um, use them kind of every other tile with the wooden floor spikes. The wall launchers, in order to affect the level 140 smashers, I just need massive impact. And if I was not soloing Storm Shield defenses, I would have two of these perks as reload speed instead of impact. But just with the heavier husk, level 140, it's kind of what I got to do. So we put launchers here just to make sure they don't try to beat through the walls. Also, if they do, um, also anything walking across here will get knocked way back, meaning they have to keep going through the gas traps again and again. Um, over here, whoop, go ahead and place another wall launcher. So now anything walking over this edge um, is hopefully going to get hit by one of those two wall launchers. I love wa um, working right next to the lava balls. And then they'll go flying out here, where once again we will have some more builds. And all this you have to be so careful with the build. Because when you got 1,000 husks coming through, you're going to have an issue with husks getting clogged up. Mainly with all the launchers and the smashers in the hallway. It's easy to get a clog. The second you get a clog, um, the propane, um, the exploder husk will throw their propane. And with one propane tank thrown, it will set off all other propane tanks. And everything will be destroyed in an instant lots of fun all right so let's go ahead we're going to extend this out and i know this might get blown up blown up while i'm doing it um that's why i'm not gonna um tear it up very far just keep it as is and then if it does get blown up went right before i run it on storm shield defense number 10 i'll come over trigger the lava ball somewhere else like over there and then build this really quick before starting the storm shield defense. So everything is coming down this way. And actually, just to make sure they don't get caught on the edge of the wall. And since we're putting a dynamo here, we can use a half wall. They drop down here. Um, use the wooden floor spikes. Come down here and we have a launcher that's going to be sending them back here. And I'm actually going to do this three tiles. And just made this a little bit different. Before, or originally, I had this with wall launchers to my normal timeout rooms. But I was having the issue of um, basically just not working correctly. And do, do, um, with the um, propane tanks and then blowing it up. Oh, take it out this time. Nope. So, two. Let's get that here. So once this gets a little weird, but it actually worked extremely well. Um, I'll go ahead and put up the launchers here just so it's easier for you to see it. Although I know they'll probably get blown up while I'm building. So they come down here. If they make it past these launchers, they come in here and they get hit by this launcher, hopefully. And I said I wasn't going to tear that up and I just automatically do it. And hopefully it will get spit out to here, where I will have a launcher. That will spit them out here, so they have to come walking back up and go through it again and again and again. I'm just slowly eating them up. If they get past this launcher, they go to this wall launcher, which sends them back what would normally be a timeout room. But we're going to have a launcher on the wall that spits them over here to a floor launcher that spits them up to a 45 over here again to the launcher. Once again, I know it's a little crazy, 
but when you're doing level 140 husk um, overkill just isn't a thing you have to load it up as much as humanly possible and then with that um, like I said they'll probably get blown up but we'll go ahead and put that down there just more damage traps here since it's three tiles long we'll go ahead and put wall darts the area here every other tile wooden floor spikes and gas trap up here gas trap here and let's see we will put the dynamo here both because of the high damage and the fact that it can stagger um, husk and the same thing right here so that is our nice little entry area here who knows how long it will last because the husk too can spawn the lava balls where'd that one go off all right um, and since the lava balls can end up destroying what I'm building I will also have place back here basically overflow so that do, do if the trap tunnels get blown up they will have this wall here which is outside of the area effect that the lava balls could possibly hit at least I've never had them hit this far out so if anything goes wrong with the trap tunnel they are still forced to go down what I call the waterfall down here and that is the goal of all this um, to get all the husks coming down over here to go down the waterfall and need to build these up high one thing um, first time I did this I did not put a wall there and when the um, exploders got to this edge they just started heaving propane tanks off the corner so if you put up a wall there they can't see the amplifier which means they will come down here and hopefully get eaten up by the traps and wait did I go too far just figuring out nah I want to keep it that way and then they're going to drop down two levels to here and once again just get eaten up hopefully by the traps and I will go through this like I said this is gonna be a long video unfortunately but this one has three sides to defend there is a lot going on um, I could do a freeze trap on that but since I got this to a level 130 I might as well use it also we're gonna have this in a few places where there is um, a two tile drop so basically you have an area like this and the dynamos will not go off on the first husk that comes down that will arm them and then they will go off a few seconds after that but usually there's more than one husk coming down so whatever follows down the first husk will hopefully get hit by four dynamos doing massive damage to them and now we need to head back up <laughs> and just trying to fend off this east side um, if you're wondering about this strange area here that is just how I marked off where the lava ball seems to hit the most common uh, amount of times so get up in this the other part of this here let's see we can try this will probably get blown up but I am going to build it basically how I want it the optimal build for it um, up here most of the times the smashers would not try to come up here or any other husk they would go around the rock but every once in a while I would get smashers that no matter what I built here how many walls I put in they would just start smashing through then the propane would throw their ta tanks to get up here so I don't argue with them if they want to come up here I'm gonna let them and let's see yeah we'll do it that way actually no this is a problem I ran into before once again the AI on the smashers is just weird um, and they do weird things originally I made this area as small as possible basically a two by two box 
But for some reason, the Smashers, since there's land over here, they would just beat through to get to this edge. So once again, I just opened it up, and since there's a cliff here, they don't try to beat through it. So once again, it's a kind of a nonsense need to do for building, but it works. So if it works, that's what I'm gonna go with. It eats up a few extra pieces of metal. And did I just block off the ramp? Yeah, I did. Why didn't you guys warn me about that? And yes, I could have reduced it to a smaller size so I could do one less hit to it to get it down faster. But really didn't feel like it. And then on this, I have them dropping down to here, which will eventually combine with the um, other um, leg of the trap tunnel. And just to force them a little bit more over to the edge, I put one row of wall there. We can do that with a launcher and a launcher here. So anything that comes up this edge um, will either turn here to try to get through and hopefully hit by the launcher or they'll walk over here and get hit by the launcher trying to come down here. So we need to slow them down a little bit with the wooden floor spikes and then massive damage once again dynamos for damage and staggering the husk and for just doing massive damage we have our gas traps and i'll put one more back here just because that launcher could send them over there along with more damage i also i think i started with um 1000 structural pieces um that is because once you get to the this is going to get a lava ball that's going to blow up. What is it going to blow up? Nothing. Outstanding. But when I placed, and I still haven't placed it, need to place it, the devil amplifier, that means all spawn points for the pit amplifier is gone, so I totally tore that down. The um, final spawn point for amplifier B is used up from the north, so I could tear that one down. And because you get the exact same spawns or exact same waves going to the exact same amplifiers, um, no matter what on Storm Shield Defense number 10, I know that the bridge um, amplifier will not get attacked. That's right over there. So I tore all of that down. Yeah, that took a couple hours. But hey, <laughs> gave my um, Pathfinder Outlander useful. Oh! See, I've never had it go back that far before. And it did this time, which does cause me some um, pretty good concern. But we're going to press on. And like I said, I will try to be a little bit more careful. we got about 30 seconds before the next one comes down. Put a launcher on this wall here. A launcher on this wall. And I have put a timeout room over there, but since things keep getting blown up, I'm not going to worry about it this time. And then a launcher here. And the rest of the setup is just gas traps on the ceiling. Um, dynamos on the walls that don't have launchers on them. Ah, oh, shoot. That should have been a launcher. Spent too much time in the area. Oh, nothing got blown up this time. Cool. Trying to get out of here before I get it blown up. So another wall launcher here. Once again, sending them to that wall launcher, which sends them back to all these wall launchers. And here, wooden floor spikes every other. And retractable floor spikes every other. All right, let's get out of here before another lava bomb goes off. And I will come back and three-tier all of this another time. Here, retractable, wooden, on these, dynamos, dynamos, just so when these are keep sending us back, and I need another gas trap up there, um, they keep having to go through this damage again and again and again. That is the name of the game, repeating the damage as much as possible. Now, for the rest of the east side defenses, 
Um, they're going to be spawning, as I said, all over here. And I want them, because I know they're going for the amplifier, which is, whoop, that was not a zoom. That's a zoom, right over there. So I want to get them as close to this um, rock face as possible, have them follow the line over. Right up there is the opening we made earlier. And then everything going off the edge right over here um, in a nice tight little area. That is the goal. Whether it happens or not is a totally different story. All right. So uh, on this, just them coming in, you got this little area here that's kind of awkward and really can't do much with it. And if you can't do much with it, you might as well turn it into a timeout room. So that's exactly what we'll do. And fortunately on this one, I don't have to worry about the lava ball blowing up anything I'm going to be building really because the lava ball hits way out here, um, which is even the backside of the spawn point. So I couldn't build there if I wanted to. The spawn would blow it up. So some dynamos and gas traps. And I know it looks like I'm putting an insane amount of traps, but it's actually less than I did the first time. And I do believe I can put up, well, whoops, clicking too fast. Do it that way, take it out. All right, so there, here, and I think this will be safe. Um, with the spawn point right here, it won't blow up these walls. And once again, funneling everything in to here. And on these, always put up stairs on the backside. First of all, if the spawn point ends up being a little closer than I thought, um, then you still have walls back here stopping them. Second, they are less likely to pound through the walls if there are stairs behind them. And on this one, we are doing a double launcher. So we had a single launcher here to a timeout room. This one will be a launcher with a second launcher with the timeout room around the corner. Once again, just keeping them in here as long as possible, bouncing them around for the pure fun of bouncing them around. All right. And here we're going to have, we can go ahead and switch over to stone. We're going to have a basically lobber shield um, and spawn point. We're going to hit them with gas traps like crazy. So can I get any closer in there? Nope, that'll get blown up. And since they're launching things off, whoop, get that up here. So whatever gets launched from up there, if it doesn't fall beforehand, we'll hit that wall. Mm. So, And I know there's a lot going on with this, so ask me all the questions you want. Might as well put another launcher right there. So just messing them, and as I said, we're going to have gas traps on all of this. How am I doing on gas traps? Um, I'll put those up later if I still have them. But everything good there. Over here, just need some ceilings. And want to stick with that. And the reason I'm doing metal, somebody was saying since I don't, um, basically the husks aren't pounding on anything. They're just walking through, and I could build this whole thing out of wood. Um, that is somewhat correct, but since I sometimes run through the tunnels to replace traps, if there is lobbers, that do building damage, they will try to kill me as I run through the tunnels and they will blow up the tunnels. So it's good to have three ply metal always. More gas traps, more dynamos. And the fact is with all of this I'm doing, it is not gonna stop the smashers. No matter what you do, some smashers are going to get to the amplifier but they don't do damage to the amplifier. So if I can get all these guys, all the propane tanks and other husks taken out, life is good. Also, the first time I ran this, I had one opening over here for them to drop out, 
And then from the other trap tunnel, one opening over here. Propane tanks are weird. They just started um, blowing up the walls anyway. Um, so now, <laughs> I, whoops, did I put that too far out? Nope, okay. Nope. Ah, did not want to do that. All right, so basically I make it um, so they can drop in much larger areas in hopes that they don't do anything too stupid. Okay. Whether that works or not, that's an entirely different story once again. Don't want to get too close over there or I will get another lava bomb. So I make this a nice big area <laughs> so that the um, propane hopefully go through and don't blow up all my hard work. And keep going. So we have that pretty well set up here. Once again, launcher sending them back. Launcher sending them back. And we're even to do, should we do one more? Where is the amp? We're gonna have that there. Hopefully it'll be okay. But remember, we got this opening here. So when they drop that on there, they hit this launcher, which sends them over here to this launcher, to this launcher, to this launcher, sends them down the hallway to all the timeout rooms. So <laughs> um, this is why durability is such a huge deal. Actually, keep that for there and here. And once again, so get this going and it shouldn't be an issue on this one because I don't think there's going to be any flingers coming. But when I did this build earlier on with my other account, sometimes I would get a flinger wave spawning over here and they would just bash through these walls to try to get down over here. So definitely behind every wall, even though it's not going towards the um, amplifier, I still put down the um, additional walls behind it. And let's see, we'll put one more there. So we got all that taken care of. And actually, let's see, what do I wanna do? I probably will put down my base up here. So these, are just to extend out my constructor base. And now we'll get back to pulling all of this together. And one of the other builds I'll be doing for the amplifier is way, way less complicated and materials needed, way less. Don't know if it'll work. Just want you to know they're not all this super complicated and big. All right, so they go through there. Nah, was gonna put, and I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna leave that open. Just because husks are stupid and weird. Kinda like myself. All right, and here, these I will make out of wood. Once again, I'm doing this so that the propane, or the exploders won't throw their propane at the amplifier from standing up here. They have to drop down to be able to see the amplifier. So we just put that in and these aren't gonna do much damage, the wall darts, but in a place like this, nothing else is really gonna work anyway. So why not? And we will do the same here and that way no, with this set up, if for some unknown reason a smasher decides he doesn't want to drop down here, he wants to come all the way over here and drop down, fine. <laughs> Just leave this open so they can get through. Not a big issue. And cover that. And then, of course, gas traps everywhere. So, we're... And yeah, this is eating up a lot of materials, but this is it. This is the game. Once I do this, the game is over, basically, except for just rerunning old missions. So I might as well 
use up a ton of resources on this. We got that good. And let's keep them moving slow. And these will just throw up some wall dart things. Over here, once again, we want to stagger them. And are we all good? If I have extra tr um, structural pieces to use at the end of this, then I will put gas traps over the drops. But for right now, we are basically done with the east side, except for going back and redoing the, um, or upping the tier level, making it all three tier. Let's see, do we want to do metal down here? Yeah, where they drop down. Do, 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 do a launcher, some more. Whoa, we're almost out of dynamos already. We'll just do mega damage when they drop. All right. So, and this time, also, I'll see how many structures I have left. Um, right now, I have it as a naked amplifier, and we might as well go ahead and place it. And if I have the structural pieces, I will build a little bit of defense around it beforehand. If not, then I'll wait until um, I actually run it and my traps get used up on the first two waves, and then I'll build this one on the fly. But there we go. Um, we're done with the east side. We will do the north side. This one is total experimental build. Um, getting really weird lava balls. Usually they drop right here. Um, nine times out of ten. Every once in a while I'll get one way out here. Um, don't know why. Also, ran through here like 20 times with walls up. Right through here. Not one single time did a lava ball touch them. Left the zone, came back in. And the first lava ball took him out. But we're going to go ahead, put him up, and see what happens. Um, I know lava ball hits like crazy here. Also, something that is different from the first time I did building in this, I can now get a structure underneath some of these tiles. Um, or underneath the ridge. Which is just awesome. And just cover up those lava cracks so you can um, walk across without getting burnt. And this is going to be a weird build. <laughs> just See, there we go. So, so much for those walls. Alright, what I am going to do with this, which is something totally different than anything you've seen. Um, we have the amplifier built. Um, building right there was actually on this line but you can't build floors or walls in this area so I'm gonna to try to get as much as I can through here to begin with we're gonna leave that open so whatever does come through over here can walk through and wow this is a short area I have not seen anyone um, defend this amplifier on Storm Shield Defense Number 10 from the north and succeed. So it's kind of fun just to try it out and see what we can do. And over here, let's see, is that the way I want to set it up? One, two, three, actually no. I'm going to change that. I will bash down all that later and actually put some stairs behind it want that let's see that one I want to leave open all right once again thinking up most of this on the fly since this one has the rock face there and the wall is one tile closer we are just going to be slamming the husk back and forth as they walk through here um, yeah hit there to there to there basically hitting back and forth while getting eaten up by the gas traps we will start with wooden floor spikes and then once again the retractable this is the one area I will have a timeout room and wow we need to make a lot more dynamos fortunately we got over 4,000 nuts and bolts and I know a lot of people um, the evident they changed the dynamos from mineral to gears or mechanical parts 
I'm actually really happy about that. A lot of people are upset, but I was using up mineral powder like crazy. So, and so they come through here, launch back and forth. If they make it through that, we got this launch over here, and we got more launchers. Basically, the whole idea of this is basically eating up all the propane tanks with gas traps as they're getting slammed around. And we'll put that in there and let's see. We can get a way with putting I'm just going to do it as a half wall right here so they can get um, have to walk around it forcing them closer to the launchers. And we will do another half wall here, for the same reason. So that is not much. That is not much at all. And that is why I'm going to build a defense around the amplifier, or want to, if they come through this way. Um, the smashers are going to be hardly touched. Don't know about the rest of them. So you do have an issue where sometimes they just decide they want to go on the outside here. Once again, I don't really argue with them. I just make them pay for every step they take. And we got to get it right there. So we get a trap down there. And we get a trap down as they go in. Once again, sometimes they'll just keep walking back here. Wish they wouldn't. And even though the other path is a direct line to the amplifier, husk are stupid. So, and yeah, didn't think I'd be able to get that one down. See if we get lucky one more time. All right, so we got all that up there. I am. Yay, made it. Going to put this up to hopefully, if they want to come through here, they will step up right there and come down this way. Why they would do that, no idea. But you also have a chance of something blowing up over here, smashers coming down. If they do, this is where they're going to go. So... We are probably, even though it says I got 684, we it, it's really slow on keeping up on the count. So it's probably actually more than that. And this is just traps for overflow. Um, where are we coming off? All right, wooden. All right, the other kind of good thing about this, if we get smashers coming down this way, they will be charging the pieces I put up. And hopefully some will end up in trap tunnels over here or over to the west. And let's see. Have these going up. And there we go. The gas traps probably won't be able to hit from the first one. But this one they can. Um, tire traps. I could definitely use, probably will not, just because I don't want to use, uh, give up the structural pieces for it. Put up wall darts there, just shooting at everything. Wall darts can detect husk three tiles out and shoot six tiles. So that's a pretty good range. And, um, yeah. Everything I do, like here, well, that one should be good. All right. I was worried that um, propane husk wouldn't be able to get underneath it, so they would blow it up, but it looks like it's okay. So, just looking at it one more time. And what do we got here? Um, they can't head up straight here. They're going to have to come from the inside, so we're good, hopefully putting up a roof right there. And a lot of people um, have a com um, seem to make a lot of comments about the way I say roof. 
Um, that's the way I say it. Not sure if it's a regional thing or just me, but that is um, the way I've always have said it and probably always will. Out here, hey, lava ball. Let's um, switch over to wood. And I want to hit them when they're spawning. And I know this is going to get blown up. Some of it. But I'm going to put it up for now. And let's see. They actually spawn out a little bit further. And since I got several anchor points, whatever doesn't get blown up, that is where I will be placing my gas traps. And I'm even, well, we'll just do it with wood because it'll try, probably get blown up again. And I, once again, um, if they are spawning over here, I will probably run over here and throw up this wall, um, even if it's been blown up by the lava. And hopefully it will stay long enough to get the most of them into the main tunnel area. All right. So now... <laughs> Are you guys keeping up with all this? This is a lot. And like I said, I will bash down these few pieces later. Now we have the west. The west has two spawn points for you to have to worry about. One spawn point is right over here, right down this ramp. Um, they will be back over there. And then you have over here, which is usually the main spawn point. They spawn over here and they will spawn one or two tentacles up on this ridge here. So you can't totally block that area off. So trust me, I tried. So we will do here, this is the path we're gonna go. This can get hit by a lava ball, but there's really no choice. So I have to get them to the amplifier over there. So we have one or two squares that might get taken out and Oh well. So that is the path I want them to take over here. And un whoop. Go ahead and hit. Get rid of those. Gonna have to do some building there. And really wish I knew what my actual structure count was. Because I know that is incorrect. Alright. Get this. Originally I did this with 45s here and launchers here, but that just kept sending them in a circle and they weren't taking enough damage. And I want to do it like this. Go to wood because I want to put up gas traps like crazy down here. Once again, trying just to kill as much as possible right at the spawn. Um, since I have it this way, we may have some of the few things that spawn over here break out a few pieces and they could even walk across the ceiling a little bit. But since the vast majority is coming from down here, um, really need to have it like this. And do. These will just be for gas traps hitting them as they're coming up. Let's see, what do we got? Ugh. Working my brain too hard. Here. Yeah, we might as well do this as floating. Everything that comes through here. Launcher, launcher, launcher. And hey, why not another launcher? Everything getting hit by gas traps. Nope, that is a ceiling electric field, so we need to make more of those. Jeez, what do we start with, like 60 of those? Um, back half, yeah, they'll still get hit as they're coming up. So, and if you want to do this where you're only protecting one side and just running it until they attack from that side, no shame in that. <laughs> totally understand. This is a lot of materials and time and effort. And once again, we'll get gas traps on these. I will put up over here 
once again it's not that big of a deal with the wave I'm getting um, hopefully this time but some people may be watching this for how to build to defend this on other waves and if you get lobbers or flingers they will try to come over this way so it's definitely to put up a wall good to put up a wall there and while I'm thinking about it it is also good to put up a what ah I was always able to put up a wall there no issue no problem now I cannot so we will do a double wall here and hopefully that's enough for them not to try to go around this way like I said if it isn't a lobber or a flinger there's no reason for them to try to go up this ramp and we gotta get busy making gas traps and can never have enough gas traps alright and I will make that three tier later on and here once again just making it so nothing sneaks around ah, get out of that I did not want that there we go so and I will put traps wall launcher and floor launcher on that later let's see I want to trigger the lava ball alright so triggered that on purpose so that it wasn't hitting this while I am working on it so we will have that get rid of these little walls we will have them make a turn right here to get them closer to the amplifier we are going to leave that open right there for reasons I will get to and here we will have two more timeout rooms once again just trying to get all the regular husks killed before they get to the amplifier more launchers launcher there launcher there launcher there uh, lava ball yeah I'm good so we're gonna go damage 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 and damage and slowing slowing and slowing uh, dynamo dynamo once again more dynamos needed <laughs> yeah really going overboard on this but I am trying to do this on one try um, not sure how many other people have ever been able to do this on the first try out but I'm gonna try to make it happen so that is the first leg of the defense on this side <laughs> um yeah we're running low on everything but we're almost done so if I finish this storm shield defense 10 with any traps or materials left um it's really just waste so uh dynamos is what we need all right up here once again you're gonna have them coming in up this ramp there's no reason for them to need two sides to come up cut them off and this is another place where every once in a while you'll get a spawn or two out here and I had it one time one tentacle spawn here dynamo or uh, uh, exploder he had nowhere to go because I had walls here so he blew it up which blew up everything else so you gotta make sure he, they have a way in there oops that is not what I wanted and there we go alright put that where it belongs and here once again we want to be eating these things up with the gas traps the, the entire time they are coming up gas trap gas trap another gas trap another gas trap another gas trap and we're even going to go down here towards the spawn point switch over to wood and here we will be hitting them with the 
gas traps as they spawn and start up the ramp. And I really wish that you could do these multiple times just because like the storm shield defense 10 once I finish it once I would like to run it five or six more times so I could show you all the different routes they may go all the different defenses but currently not allowed so dynamos on their way up and so even before they get to what is technically the trap tunnel they are just taking some massive damage we are going to take that out as i said i want to leave that open so if anything spawns out there it can come into the trap tunnel and on this we're actually going to have two different trap tunnels where they could either go here to the amplifier or they can come over this way to the amplifier down through there just giving the husk choices because the husk like having choices and I don't like them blowing up my tunnels all right so get this with a launcher and another launcher back here and what else do I want to do with that? All right now, leave that open. We will work on this side of it. Yeah. And of course, hit the button one too many times. So get them coming through here. And are you guys taking bets on whether this will actually work the first time or not? I want to know what my odds are right now in Vegas of making this happen. So, yeah. Big open space here. Like I said, let the husk decide for themselves. Alright, so we got launcher, launcher. Let them go two spaces. And trying to figure out how I want to work this. Because usually they want to go over by the third time. So we'll go ahead and set it up like that. And then this walks them into the amplifier. But not before another timeout room. And let's see. I want to check this. I'm making sure there's a gap all the way around here. That way, hopefully, they don't try to bash through. I'm worried about this one, so we'll put stairs. All right. So we got that trap tunnel over there. Um, like I said, a lot of it is doing gas traps in the very beginning, trying to take them out. And um, whatever structural pieces I have, um, when I get over here, I will just keep doing additional um, traps onto it. But let's go ahead and get the launchers. How many? All right. And get... The, whoa, dynamos are gone again. Wow. Truly an insane amount of traps. So. And I would say hopefully not a hundred of, any more than a hundred, but I think the gas traps, yeah, we're going to top that out over a hundred. In this big area, if my ceiling electric fields were all perked up um, like the gas traps, um, which they're not, I would be using them in the bigger areas. But since they're not, we'll leave it as is. All right, here. More dynamos. Uh, no reason to do anything with that. Just keep hitting them with damage. And now we're just loading this up with traps. Oh, we got a long ways to go with that. So, 
wooden floor spikes right when they come out every other tile all right and then once again damage Ugh. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. I... <laughs> oh, ba -ba -da. All right. Oh, four of those left. That's okay. I can make tons of wooden floor spikes. And... Yeah. So what else we got? Might as well have another wall launcher there. I think we got a few more gas traps made up. And now we have for the Devil Amplifier pretty much all the defenses set in place. Just need to keep throwing down a few more dynamos, a few other things, and we will be set to go. So um, there you have it. <laughs> As I said, I got no idea if this is going to actually work. Um, the structure count is definitely not keeping up so I need more dynamos in there and there they come up here and let's see since the only thing coming in here hopefully will be smashers nope need that down um, we need to make it so they don't see any flat walls in the beginning so we will put down the angles all the way around to begin with. And this will not slow them for long. Um, I will probably have my base set up centered on the trap tunnels. And like here, let's see, does it make a difference? Should be okay. Um, you got you have to leave them an area to walk up or um, the exploders just blow it up there but from that range they're just going to throw their tanks anyway so it really doesn't make a difference here let's see just checking out where they're most likely to go we'll leave that floor piece not there I guess what to build. and let's see Ooh, here. Jeez, I can't even fit one on there without it hitting the wall. And if it hits the wall, uh, hopefully they won't try to come down and walk down the wall. So, two. Nah, I'm going to leave that open. And if they get in here, well, the smasher can charge through that piece. Now build this up just to slow them down a little bit. I doubt it will slow them. <laughs> you gotta at least try. And plus this gives me structures to put up my gas traps. So since I know they're gonna keep charging this area, I want, oh, once again, running out of gas traps. I'll make some more in a little bit, but you get the idea there. And where else? I'm trying to get it so it's not hanging over the edge, but it looks like we're going to have a lot of that. So let's just go ahead and do it. Smashers will bash through it. Hopefully no exploders get over here that will throw their tanks at it. And yeah. All right. So we got all that. We'll have launchers underneath these pieces. All the angles. Did not want it there, but hey, it's all good. Once again, getting a little bit of lag. Just to mess with them, I'll put one there too. And then the reason I wanted to do all that is... Actually, I got to find out what my structural count is. And it's still not catching up. Um, we're still going to make this metal. I may actually have to go farming for metal. And I am putting these all up 
just to be able to put up gas traps on all of them. And so, let's see. I kind of want to leave that open. It seems like if they know it's just a one tile drop, they're more likely to bash through than if it's a two tile drop. Um, can't really explain why. Just the AI they set up. And then these will have gas traps on them. And then I will have the retractable floor spikes all over here. Just doing damage and hopefully staggering them a little bit. So there we go. That is my video on all, all this insanity. And let's see. I can't even get back up that way. Just going to head up quick. And try to not set off too many lava balls on things I built. That one's going off there, which gives me 40 seconds free to run up. And we got our build over here. Our build up to the east side. And we are good, north and west. So I'm going to come back in here, finish up all the traps, finish up um, three-tiering all this metal. And then we will be running Storm Shield Defense number 10. And on a wish and a prayer, we may actually make it. So thanks for bearing with us, the few people who made it to the end. Take care and have an amazing day.